hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back today's video is going to be a full glute pump my full leg day at the gym i want to give you step by step what i do to gain muscle at the gym it is a process guys it's super rewarding if you take your time and you are more intentional so first i like to start off with cable kickbacks these are a glute activator for me i do focus on putting one leg in front of the uh, cable and then the other behind and that is the working leg and I focus on holding on to the bars and at first I start with a normal traditional leg lift and for 10 reps and then I do a 10 of these pushback donkey kicks here and always remember to have your um, your back completely slanted or just to make sure that you're working more on your upper glute as you can see that upper glute there is popping and I do lightweight just to make sure this is a functional higher rep right uh workout because typically what i find is if i do heavy weights i can only get like five in but if i do moderate rates i can do like 20 and i try to do 20 times five so 100 of these and yo the pump you'll see at the end of this video but the pump is too real This gym was in shambles, so first the camera died, and then I tried to film you guys on my iPhone. As you can see, um, shorts were in shambles, camera died. I was just, I'm so glad I'm still alive at this point. And then I just buckled in my seatbelt. This is a glute uh, machine that later on I found was broken. So I was just doing these warm-ups for my hip thrust before I added weight and then when I tried to add weight it was broken so I had to de departure and go into Smith machines but these are so impactful highly recommend these single leg hip thrusts a trainer taught me this um, she's really really good she taught me to do this and it hurts so bad but it burns so good like 10 out of 10 recommend you try these and then I was just doing some hip thrust warm-ups focus on arching your back at the bottom but then uh, squeezing your booty hole at the top <laughs> like it's the goal so yeah the machine was broken so i had to move to the smith machine and i love the smith machine because you could add on lots of weight and it won't harm you because it's controlled so i did three plates here easy it felt light this is sped up but yeah it was so good such a good burn slow and controlled really focus on clenching your booty up and when you're doing going down clench and it's crazy killer burn Next, I moved into the hyper extensions. Okay, y'all, I didn't know my butt was this big until I got to this part of the video, but next I moved into reverse hyper extensions here. I went across the entire gym to grab that barbell. It was so worth it just because plates for me, I don't really feel the burn. Could be my form of plates, but my form with these are so much better. The butt was butting, y'all. It was so much booty in there. Good googly moogly, all that booty. <laughs> I'm very proud of my results. Um, honestly, when I was younger, I used to get joked on because I had no butt. And I just had big thighs because that's my rest of my family. But your girl built a booty up, okay, period, if you're period. So, yes, you have to do these very slow. I did not speed the video up because I wanted you to see how slow you have to do these. And you have to make sure your back is hunched over, like super hunched over. That way people can see that your girl got proper form. It was so awkward to have the hyper extension machine in the middle of the gym, like, but your girl powered through it and the glute gains came in. It was so worth it. As you can see, I was just happy to find that the uh, posing room or the classroom was empty because they didn't have a class. And now look at my gains, you guys, look in the mirror, it's crazy. But here is the killer ending of my workout. I like to do these Bulgarians, whoever Bulgarian B came up with this, it's rude, but it's so worth it. So I do pulsing Bulgarians. This is also not sped up, so you can see the, the cadence there. Pulsing Bulgarians, oh my God, your glutes are gonna be on fire, fire, but it's so worth it. Upper booty, if you are quad dominant, you saw my face, <laughs> if you're quad dominant, you need to do these at the end of every workout, every leg day, you will see some good results.
this was Saturday. The one you just saw with the blue pants was Friday, but on Saturday I went back and did more of a leg quad focus glute at Gold's and it was so worth it. I did good mornings as well as these heavy reverse hack squats. So I'm just doing 45 here, but I didn't record everything, which is making me mad. Um, I don't know why I didn't pick up the camera to record, but yeah, I did barbell squats at Gold's. I did these reverse hack squats. I did step ups. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'll do a full video. Comment if you want to see my full uh, quad and hamstrings there. I could I could film that for you too. But yeah, I'm so proud of this. Y'all, I did four plates. I had to record this. So like, I'm going to try to do four plates. This is just before I even got the courage to do it. So I was sweating. Like, this is such a good workout. I really wish I would have recorded the whole thing. But yeah, so the first thing, uh, this is the first time I ever did four plates, and you have to get here. It takes like months to get to four plates. You should progressively overload, but y'all, I hit it. I hit it like I did like 20 reps. I'm so proud. But four plates, and the reason why it takes so long to get there is because you want to make sure your form is right. But yeah, that was just one piece of my workout at Gold's. I just wanted to include that to show y'all that this is a good exercise for your hamstrings, quads, glutes, calves, abs, everything. It's just a full body. I don't even know what video this is gonna go in but I just want to say God is so much bigger when you let go of the thing that you're holding on for dear life like I just let go of something I was doing I worked this amazing job and I quit but I left my LinkedIn saying that I still work there and so a week ago like a few days ago I decided to just change it to say that I don't work there anymore right boom instantly I got an email from someone who I was at a, a recruiter at a really good place that um had a phone screening with them and then after the phone screening she was like okay you're not a fit or whatever you know how they say whatever they say so then she just emailed me said hey I just posted a job and <laughs> I flagged your resume as perfect for this next role and I wanted to reach out to you and give you the link to reapply here. And I'm just like, that is beautiful. Like, what are the chances? Because what happens is when recruiters get your information and they like you, they send you to a hiring manager. And if the hiring manager doesn't like you, which is fair because the jobs I'm applying for are enterprise. Like, you need 10 years of experience that, to get them. And I have, like, seven years. So she said... No, or the hiring manager said no, that hiring manager. But then there's another hiring manager who needs my level of experience, but it's, it's the same pay, the pay is still valid. And she thought of me, like, I just feel like God makes people think of you. God makes people remember you. Like, what? That was in January. It's April. That is so beautiful. And then tomorrow at 6 p.m., I have an, I have a wholesale candle partnership i just got chill saying wholesale because it's not a cute wholesale it's not a little, little bitty wholesale it's it's this would be i want to see the net worth of this company okay the company's worth 0. 0.1 billion like what why would you say 0. 0.1 billion Oh, not that much, I guess. Okay. Because the owner is worth 143. 100K. He's not worth much. Okay, whatever. <gasps> no. Okay, right. There we go. 196 million. Okay. So the company. <laughs> Why are you so chill? The company I'm talking to tomorrow at 6 p.m. is worth $196 million to sell my candles in there. And I see the candles in there. And the candles in there, they're selling them for like $8, $16. And they're from small businesses. Think Home Goods, TJ Maxx, similar to those two. And I won't say the name. Think Marshalls, but it's like that. But it's one of those. You will know it when I tell you it. And I'll only tell you it once I sign a contract. So I got in my car today. I was thinking, like, okay, I guess I would have to order supplies and. They would give me my mind. I'm envisioning like 100k up front, 300k off the off the um off the drop when I drop off the candles <laughs> but um I don't know anybody who's sold in there
and I don't know, like, because people who get sold in stores, they don't really say it online. So I'm just guessing who sold wherever they're sold at. Because I know last year I applied to be sold in Target, but that was when I had crystal candles. I'm so glad I didn't get sold in Target because I would have not noticed that crystal candles were bad for me. And I felt so bad selling crystal candles, y'all. And shout out to y'all for responding to, like, y'all really like my Zodiac video. I feel blessed. Because sometimes I post videos and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I really like it. And people like it. And I just feel so blessed when y'all like my videos. Like, the reason why is because it's just different. I just can't believe I do this every day. And I decided to do it every day. Like, usually, you guys know you'll see me two to three times a week. But now you're going to see me seven times a week. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Let's see how it goes.